It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, this yeah. is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. All right. Ugh. Let's do it. So, first and foremost, yep. congratulations to the Boston Celtics. Boo. They went out there and got it done. Yeah, they did. They are now one more championship above. Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. But, yeah, yeah. Um, they won more championship above the Lakers. And uh, they put the Mavs out in five. In five. Shout out to Jalen Brown for going out there and getting finals MVP. Boy, I tell you, don't start that mess. Just don't start that mess. Don't, what do you mean? Don't start I'm just, that mess. I'm just telling you the facts of what shout happened. Out, you, 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 you never say shout out to Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. You say Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. So, shout out to Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. I was shouting out the finals MVP. I ain't got nothing to say. I think you got something that you should say. I ain't got nothing I got to say. All right, all right, all right. We can leave it there. We can leave it there. All I'm saying is go look at the last couple of videos we did. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. But Shout yeah. out to Jason Tatum. That's it? That's it. Oh, okay. What about Drew Holiday? He, shout out to Drew Holiday. Al Horford getting his first championship in 17 years. Al Horford didn't do enough to get a shout out. You think Jason Tatum did? Yeah. He had 30 and 10 game five. Nah. Don't start that he mess. Was, he was uh, one one rebound away from a triple-double. Greatest of all time. And he, paid, he played seven more minutes and couldn't get it. The fuck is going on? No, there, so bro. for a rebound, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Go ahead. Shout, shout, shout out to Jason Tatum. He played two good team. games. They had, they had five game series, and he played two good games. Guess who won them other three? Uh, Drew Ha 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 Holiday. Drew Holiday c- contributed, but he did not Derek win White. the game. He contributed, but he didn't win the game. Who won the game then? Porzingis won one. Shout out to Porzingis. <laughs> Let's get up into it. All right, yeah, yeah. So. F- oh, uh, dang. I gotta take that. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, shoot. Just bleep it. I think I that'll know. make it funnier. But, uh, yeah, so all of that being said, right? Yeah. A lot of people are still giving the Celtics hard time saying that they had an easy path to the finals and they didn't play the hardest team for them to play out of the West in the finals. People saying that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's true. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like, um, I mean, you, you can't, the, 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 the Celtics couldn't choose how their exactly. hand was, was yep. dealt. Yeah, yeah, dealt. So they, they just went and did what they were supposed to do. Yep. So 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 no no uh slight to the Celtics. Um, I do think this was the easiest championship in championship history. Mm-hmm. But I will never say that on the pod. Mm-hmm. But I will say though, shout out to them. Uh, they couldn't control what was going on. They just played the yeah, game. Yeah. They got the dub, so let's celebrate the dub. Jason yeah. Tatum, Jalen Brown got theirs. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, I, I've said on record several times, and I told you several times, mm-hmm. they should trade one of them because they would never win a title. Yeah, I said that. And what you going to say now? I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, America. <laughs> now, I could say they had the easiest yeah, yeah, championship you, you ever. out with that, but... but Hey, I'm gonna call the spade a spade. Them boys won the championship. Yeah. Don't 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 matter how the role went. They mm-hmm. won. But I will say this. Who's that? They not gonna get my respect until they get at least two. Dang! Why are you changing it on them boys? You just said that you you said Jason Tatum need to sweep the Indiana Pacers. He did that. Then he he need to go on to win the championship, and he did that. Mm-hmm. So let me take it back. All let right. me take it back. They got the championship. Uh huh. That means something uh-huh. to the world. Okay. But it would mean something to me. Okay. If they win another one. Okay. Because I'm okay. not satisfied with one. I, I, I feel what you're saying, especially with the circumstances. But mm-hmm. I do think that with them winning this championship, yep. it you remember how uh, in the MMA video I was saying when um, – a fighter wins the uh, championship, they get 30% 30 better. better. Yep. I think that's the same thing with uh, people that win the NBA Finals. I think that a lot of those players are going to get better, and they're going to call it experience. You you know what's uh, crazy? What's that? They're going to trade somebody. 
more than likely, or somebody not going to resign. Or, or yeah, something. when when teams for some reason win the championship yeah. or the Super Bowl, I don't know why, but they change the roster. Yeah. That yeah. it don't don't make sense to me. But even uh, if it's some little subtle changes, those changes usually still make a big difference. Yeah. Like imagine if Derek White ain't there next year. Yeah, I know that. And be you know stupid. what's crazy is Drew Holiday and Derek White is uh, quiet as kept. They played a big role. Huge role, especially Drew Holiday. But they played a huge role in the Celtics getting over the hump. I think they played just as big of a role as Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but they, I mean, they are uh, never going to get credit for it because they role play. I think they get the credit enough. I ain't the best looking guy, but Derek White ugly, boy. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. He wasn't that bad looking at one point. cut his head. <laughs> yeah, he it's like he got worse and worse because then he had got hit in the mouth and his tooth got. No, yeah. yeah, I was telling um, uh, <laughs> I was telling um, Ro, 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 Rosita last last night. I went in the room and I was like, man, Derek White in the NBA, it ain't no reason he should be looking like that, though. <laughs> he said that he was willing to lose all of his teeth to win the championship. I respect it, but hey. No. Take that championship money and go get yourself fixed up, buddy. That's it. Get your teeth fixed. Get Might a as hair well go transplant. ahead and get that. Uh, yeah, I was about to say the the hair transplant. It don't. It only take. Uh, I think the first like a uh, month or two is is kind of you know rough or whatever. But you don't want a championship. You are gonna be off the next what Facts. three months, Facts. four months. Something like you, that. You, by the time the season come back around, you have a little you know a little something going. Yes, <laughs> a little something <laughs> going. Shout out to Derek White, ugly ass. <laughs> All right. But yeah, um, I don't want to give him ugly though. But you, you can. He's not uh, ugly. I you can clearly see the decline though. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he, he he looks weird. <laughs> he looks weird. But the, the, the uh, I don't even know who that was doing the uh, the interview after they won the championship. She was like, uh, "Show us that smile." And I was like, why <laughs> yeah, you, I know. Why are you doing this? Because she <laughs> know we gonna talk about it. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, um. Mm. Shout out to Derek White, though, man. Yeah, let me ask you this. They played just, just as good. Go ahead. How do you think Marcus Smart feel? I don't think. I think he's happy for his teammates, but I, I his ex-teammates, mm. but I don't think he liked what's going on. Yeah, it's going to be. I think I would be happy for my ex-teammates, but I'd be like, I was supposed to be there. Man. Yeah, That's I know. Bullshit. I know. That might uh, motivate Marcus Smart. How do you think the – how do you think the – Bucks feel the Bucks, yeah. So the Bucks traded Damian Lillard to um, not the Bucks got Damian Lillard mm-hmm. from Portland mm-hmm. and they gave Portland Drew Holiday and Portland sent Drew Holiday to Boston. Yeah, I don't even, th- I honestly, I, I don't think the Bucks feel no type of way. I think that championship that the Bucks got, I think they lucked that mess up. It was a fluke. It Do you was. think this was a fluke? I ain't even gonna lie to you. The Celtics work hard mm-hmm. to win. They did. They did. But if I'm gonna keep it real, <laughs> this was as easy a championship as the Bucks won. Yes, yeah, it was. It was. Because I how- think if they played the Nuggets, yeah. the Nuggets would have won. I think if they played the T Wolves. It wouldn't have been done in five games. No, that's my no. personal opinion. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I said several times the Timberwolves is a bad matchup for mm-hmm. the Celtics, uh, but the Dallas Mavericks. You know what the thing about the Dallas Mavericks is, and uh, this playoff series kind of proved it too. Well, and yeah. uh, and then when you look at the Timberwolves series, that proved it also. With the Dallas Mavericks, if you let them stay in the game, if you let them stay close, they gonna win. Yeah. Because Kyrie and Luca are both clutch. Yeah, that's a fact. And that's what happened. And the Timberwolves series is the Timberwolves will go up, let Dallas come back yeah. in, and then it's at the it's close it's a close game at the end. You don't want to yeah. leave it a close game at that's the a end. Fact. Now when you look at all of the scores here, it was always a blowout. Even the Mavericks yep. won in a blowout, but the Celtics always won in a blowout. Yeah. So <laughs> That's what it is with the Mavericks. You cannot let them stay close in the game, especially when they're coming down to the wire. That's a fact. They going to I ain't thought about it like, like that, but yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So I think the Timberwolves should have beat them, but they kept letting them stay in the game. And when it came yeah. down to the last shot, hey, yeah. it ain't really much you can do there. That's a fact. But uh, yeah, so I think that uh, I think the Bucks is like, uh, they don't really care. The Trailblazers, I think that they sent Drew Holiday to Boston to spite uh the Bucks. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I think it was like um, y'all trying mm. to push Dame Lillard on us. I mean, we trying to push Dame Lillard out. Y'all want him, and uh, y'all trying to give us Drew Holiday, so we gonna fix y'all by yeah. doing this swap and giving y'all a tougher yeah. person to you know a tougher team in the finals yeah, or whatever like that. Got that championship. They man. did it. Shout out to them boys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Do you think that losing the finals affects Lucas? legacy no not at all i don't think it affects lucas legacy at all i don't think it affects Kyrie's legacy at all i don't think it affects nobody in the mavs organization at all do you have a reason why yeah uh main reason why is like them boys is young yeah i, was I about think to look up that age. <laughs> i think that most people would god dang what's that I didn't know he was born in 99. I feel yeah. old. Dang. <laughs> Go ahead, though. <laughs> but, yeah, I think most people um, never had the Mavs going to the finals or winning. So, That's yeah, I, I don't think it, it affects them at all. And, I mean, the uh, Celtics went, went to the finals and lost. They got close several, several times and lost. It, it, it's a part of growth. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Thanks. I don't think it affects Lucas' career at all. I don't think it affects Kyrie's career at all just due to the fact that I mean, I don't. Kyrie is one of my favorite players, mm-hmm. but I don't think nobody looks at Kyrie and be like he can go win a championship. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think on that big stage, he can. He he might even contribute the most some games, but I don't think nobody look at Kyrie and be like he can get us a championship. Yeah, yeah. Shout I, out to Luca. I uh and Kyrie. Yeah, I don't think it affects it at all. I think that uh. uh at the beginning of the season, what six percent of people probably picked them to win, and five and then, of them live in Dallas. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, and most of them was Mavs fans. That's a fact. So, uh, this was like a, a a pleasant surprise for them to be to make it this far. And so yep. next year, I think that you know it, it like they gain a lot of experience from this, and they know what they need to work on to be better. But I will say though. Mm-hmm. Whose team do you think the Mavericks was? Whose team was it? Yeah. Man, I think it was, I think the outside view and the organization was thinking it was Lucas' team, but for some reason, something telling me the players in that locker room that I thought it was Kyrie. I was about team. to say, I think it's Lucas' team, but Kyrie was the leader. Mm, that Does makes that, sense. Yeah, because yeah. it's like like like, like, like Kyrie, Steph and Draymond. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, I feel like a lot of times Luca was getting in the way of the team. Sometimes, like I remember, that's a fact. Though. One game, Kyrie was cooking, and Kyrie ain't got the ball enough for them to be able to get a win. Yeah. And I was look, like, Luca, like Kyrie cooking. He done, you know, scored eight straight points and Luca got the ball now. And yeah. Luca go down court and, and try to make a play. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, bro, Kyrie cooking. What are you doing, man? I know. So, so <laughs> with, with that being said, though, right? Mm-hmm. That goes back to, I think, to, to it being Luca's team because mm-hmm. I'm a, uh, for the chat that don't, don't know, I'm a Laker fan. Kobe Bryant, my favorite player of all time. Yeah. That's my GOAT. He's not the GOAT, mm-hmm. but he is my GOAT. Okay. okay. But uh yeah, Kobe did come out and cost us a bunch of games. Okay. It was like, it is my team. I want to shoot, I'm gonna yeah. shoot. Yeah. Who gonna say something to him? Yeah. Who gonna check me? Yeah, so who gonna check <laughs> Luca? Yeah. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I I but I I have seen that happen before. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, I think that uh if Luca can Watch film and learn from it. Next year, they're going to be dangerous. You think so? I think so. Man, I still give them. Even though they went to the finals and lost, I still think they're one or two years away from actually being championship worthy. Yeah, I'm just saying they're going to be dangerous. I think we need to spend more time on the Celtics, man. I feel like like we ain't gave them the proper due respect. So, you know what my question to you is? What's that? Do you think Jalen Brown deserved the finals MVP? <laughs> Yeah. So, I would say the best player on the Boston Celtics. Let me say this before you go. Go ahead. I heard everybody say 
that Jalen Brown deserved the Finals MVP. And if if they was to give the Finals MVP to anybody other than Jalen Brown, it would be Drew Holiday. God dog. That's all. That's all God I heard. God dog. That's, that's what I heard. I'm just telling you what I heard. Go ahead though. Go ahead. I, I still think Jason Tatum, the best player on the Celtics. Mm-hmm. Um, if they want to give Finals MVP to um, Jalen Brown, they can because he was the most consistent. That's a fact. But uh, I mean. I'm not mad Jalen Brown got it. Yeah. Because he wasn't You most think consistent. Tatum was mad? I don't think I think he might have felt some type of well. I think he felt some type of way. I don't think way, he did. But he felt some type of way. What way do you think that is he felt? Because I think that he understood his play and he understood the way things went down. I do think that he thought that. I I think this. If he was to get that triple double in that last game, I think that's where he would have been like, "All right, come on, I got a triple double," and then he would have felt away. So, but I think he understood that Jalen Brown, the way Jalen Brown came out in one, two, and three, mm-hmm. and then Jalen Brown ain't show up till three. I mean, not Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum ain't show up till three, and I think from there he knew. All right, yeah, likely. So I feel when when I say he feels some type of way, right. Mm-hmm. And when I say that, I normally say that because I don't know what type of way I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. But I think that Jason Tatum, I think this offseason his main priority is going to be hands down the best player on the team. And if that situation happens again, I think that his mindset is I'm going to work this offseason, so hands down I'm getting those trophies. Okay. So I don't know what kind of type of way you would call that. Gotcha. But that's how I think Jason Tatum feel. But yeah. it's like if that was me and you and you got it, I'm going to still be happy. But it's like I'm going to be like, all right, so Trav got it. So so they think Trav up. All right, watch I'm, what I'm I can prove do. I'm going to prove that I yeah, – yeah. yeah. Not saying I would prove that I'm better than you. I'm going to prove like, hey, you deserve this it nigga here is like that too. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah. But, hey, I retired from the NBA years ago. Yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember. You had come to the ceremony, ain't it? <laughs> I did the speech. <laughs> hey, you stupid. Hey, Go ahead, though. But yeah, um, do you think? Go ahead. They can repeat. That's what I was about to ask you. What you so think? let's talk about it. You ain't got to think that long. I right? think it's a strong possibility. Be only because I said what I said about the thirty percent thing. Mm-hmm. I think that it's a strong possibility that they can make it back to the finals. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Depending on who come out that West, they yeah, in trouble. Because <laughs> if Denver come out, they in trouble. If the T-Wolves come out, they in trouble. You want to make a bet now? What's that? That they, they won't win it ne- next year. Why would I bet that? <laughs> I'm just saying because I, I know they ain't going to win it next year. I would bet they make it to the finals next year. I don't know if I want to bet. Yeah, that. see, that, that's, that's the still thing. a close see, call, I, though. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's going to be some good teams in the um, East, I'm sure. But I got, uh, I think that they can make it to the finals again. But mm. depending on who coming out the West, which is going to be a lot of teams in the West that can yeah. come out the West to that will be better than what Dallas displayed. Yeah, that's a fact. And that's why I feel like that's repeating a is a long shot. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to uh, repeat at all. I do want to say, though, I said it earlier, I'm going to say it again. Mm. They won't impress me until they get two. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. But uh, I'm I'm happy for them for getting the one, for me. I think, well, shout, I would say shout out to them. I hope that they not satisfied with one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I doubt it, I doubt it. If I was, in, if I was Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown, I would be happy. In the pro post conference, I would probably say something like, "Yeah, it's been a long journey. We got one, but it don't stop here." And I would be automatically thinking about next season. That's just me. Yeah. Would 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 you say, uh, "Yeah, we finally got one, but we ain't came here to get one. We ain't came here to get two. Not two. Not three. Not four. Not five. Not six. Not seven. Done. We ain't came here to get three. <laughs> He came in to get four. Hey, or five. You do not five. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I would uh I would yeah, I, I I ain't satisfied with them getting one. I don't think they should be satisfied. I said it one before. Kobe Bryant, my GOAT, he got one MVP. Mm-hmm. I ain't satisfied with that. If he was satisfied with one, I would be disappointed in him. 
He he got screwed a couple times. Yeah, so it, it don't about. start with one. I think one is like, all right, I'm there. Now let me see yeah, how much yeah. I can get. Yeah. So that's the way I feel, man. But, nah, hey, I, I retired feel, from the I NBA feel. a long time. How many finals MVPs he got? Kobe? Yeah. Uh, Two. Okay. He got two. Yeah, because he got five titles. Shaq won the first three. Kobe won the last two. Gotcha. With old Powell. Yeah. But, yeah, that's how I feel, man. Shout out to the Boston Celtics. Shout out to Jason Tatum, his sidekick, Jalen Brown. Them boys showed up. Them boys uh got him a ring, man. You can't call the finals MVP the sidekick. You can. I just did it. <laughs> it You're a disrespectful it, dude, bro. If, I'm not. This is the <laughs> truth. If, 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 if Jalen Brown come out next year and have a better season, what if he win MVP next season? Yeah, if he win MVP next season, then I would say, yeah, Jalen Brown is better than Jason Tatum. And that's Jalen Brown team. But, but, matter of fact, I heard Stephen A. Smith say, was it? No, it was either, it was you, you don't, 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 has, 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 because he was asked the same question. He said, hands down, Jason Tatum, the best player on the team, but Jalen Brown is the uh, leader and whatnot. I don't agree with that. I think Jason Tatum the leader, but if Jalen Brown come out next year, you know what's funny? What's that? I I felt like Drew Holiday might have been the leader, and I felt like the second leader was Jalen Brown. Did you see the locker room uh, interview where he went in there and was like, "Yeah, I know, you know, we happy that we won the um after they won the uh, Eastern Conference Finals." He was like, "I know everybody's happy we won the Eastern Conference Finals, but." That's not what we're here to do. We're here to win the championship. And then after they won game one, he was like, I know everybody excited that we won game one, but that's only one game. We got much yeah, more to go. Yeah. I think he was leading that team. Go ahead, though. No, no. With we, 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 that, hey, you do it. <laughs> he uh, definitely was, man. But it, it, it's kind of hard to say because the way the Celtics normally build their teams is like they get a bunch of good players and they just play ball. So it's like it's always, you know, uh, 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 up to debate. Like whenever they won in 08 yeah, or I was 09. About to say, I was just about to ask that because go ahead. It's like in my eyes, mm -hmm. being that Paul Pierce was there, the long as it, it was his team, but I think by far Kevin Garnett was the uh, leader in my eyes. He Kevin Garnett was the voice like Draymond Green. Yeah, and I was, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Who the leader was? You ain't going to hear it. I want to hear it. Rondo. Man, get out of here, boy. Rondo was the one facilitating everybody, man. He was telling everybody what to do, how to do, when to do. Whenever they shoot the free throws, regardless of the free throw miss or whatever, he called everybody in. And they say, whatever, 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 whatever. And then they go. Kevin Garnett was the uh, voice, though. And he was the... He was the leader. He was the leader, like I just said with the Drew Holiday and Jalen Brown. It was like that. No. Okay. There's no freaking way. Okay. I think Kevin Garnett was the leader, then Paul Pierce, and Rondo was like, "Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all what to do because I can't shoot, and I'm an offense. I'm a liability on offense. So y'all listen to me, and we might win. That's what I think. So they listened to him and won. One time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, forget it. Forget <laughs> you stupid. Nah, I, I mean, no, I no, think no, that shit. that whole team it was about uh, for, it was about everybody uh being on the same page and everything like that. Yeah. And I think that that's, that's how why this team is too. I think that's why they never won again because the situation with uh Ray Allen, Rondo and Ray Allen started to not get along. Yeah, and then, yeah. Then yeah. Ray Allen left and went to Miami. Yeah, yeah you, you, you know, going going back to the current Celtics though. Mm -hmm. The reason most people say by default uh, Jason Tatum the best player is because when he got drafted, yeah, Jason Tatum was looked at as he might go down as one of the greatest of all time. Mm. Jalen Brown was looked at like he going to be a great player on a team. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, and uh, Jason Tatum, well, I think the world's still riding that, that uh, wave, though, because I think, I think so too. it goes back to looking off of what 
could be versus what is. I told you that boy just wavy, man. But he with, got more swag. With, he got more pizzazz. That, he just brings a lot of oomph said, to the table. With that being said, if we going off of what could be, I mm. think that's why people say Luca better than Kyrie. But if we going by Nobody, what it is. You think people say Luca better than Kyrie? Yeah. I don't think they say he better than Kyrie. I think they just saying that that's his team. The same way you said that that was Paul Pierce team, that's the reason that people saying that's Luca team. I don't think people saying Luca is uh, better than Kyrie. I heard people say it. Well, <laughs> NBA analysis. <laughs> oh, okay. I heard them say it. Yeah, I think if they play one on one, it yeah, I, for me, I think it depends on who get the ball first. Because yeah, Luca can't even guard a, a bench. God, dog, come on, man. Is it bench standing still? Yeah. Come on. And the bench don't move. <laughs> when I say a bench, I'm talking about an empty seat just sitting there on the court. Stupid. He can't guard it. That's messed up, man. Shout but but when Luca got the ball, he know what he need to do depending on the opponent. He know if it's a bigger guy, I can, you know, take him off the dribble. He ain't going to be able to guard my step back. And then if he anticipated my step back, I can fake the step back and drive. <laughs> If he, got, if he owns somebody that's smaller than him, he's like, okay, I'm bigger than him. I know exactly how to get down low. And I think Luca, like, I didn't see him make some difficult shots yeah, down yeah, he low. he good at that. Yeah, yeah. Like, shots that's, like, simple. You know how, like, when you just at the court by yourself and you just, you're like, you, you ain't trying to do nothing. You just keep... You know, tossing the ball. He do that all the time and make it. And I'd be like, man, <laughs> yeah, that's some does. bull crap. And I know it'd be making people mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say him and a uh, Joker, they might, and my, they, yeah. I think I'm not going to say the best because I'm not, you know, it might might be people I'm not thinking about. But yeah. I think both of them top five as far as difficult shot makers in the league right now. I, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I think they're seeing that. everybody top five. Uh, MMA guru, uh, he uh, watches, M- uh, he watches NBA Specifically for Joker and uh, mm. Luca. Yeah, I know. Because they white. No, they from where he from. Well. And they white. They from overseas. And, and they yeah. white. Well, Let's call the spade a spade, Trav. You, you, do you M- call Mexicans white? It all depends on, on their shade. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Dang. Who a Mexican? Uh... Who's the Mexican that we know? Enrique. Enrique. Do what I classify him as white. I would say he I give give him white first, then Mexican. He a white Mexican? That's what he is. Griselda. She might be a Mexican. No, she's white. white. She no, white. I don't know. Shout out to Enrique. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him if he like Trump. If he say yeah, then I'm right. That's a fact. But yeah, shout out to uh, them. I bet you uh, MMA guru favorite rapper Eminem. No, who it is? I don't know. He don't listen to him because it's Eminem. Now. I don't even think he listen to rap. Like, well, he do. He, he listen do. to Eminem. He don't listen to Eminem. I watched one of his live streams. He was he rapped the whole verse song word for word. Cap. He said, "I'm Slim Shady." Yes, I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> That's not a verse. That's a hook. Oh, you right. <laughs> hey, I was you just playing that anyway. Camping. I was just lying anyway. <laughs> I'll just like Alright man, man. Uh, Is there anything else That we need to touch on As far as the NBA finals go No nah, man I would say shout out To the uh, Boston Celtics Jason Tatum said What they gonna say now I don't know why he said that Cause we still got a lot to say Yeah he, I, I, I saw him uh, He Did you notice that Throughout the whole finals He was uh, Copying everything That yeah. other people did I, I saw a video <laughs> a, a post about that today, Yeah But uh, <laughs> It he's definitely funny. playing into it. I think that <laughs> yeah. he wants to be great, mm-hmm. so he's trying to mimic Cop, great every, yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, just just I would say just be yourself because what what made Michael Jordan great was because he was different and he was himself. Mm-hmm. That's what make great players great. That's true. That's like true. Cat, big fake ass, yeah. he ain't never gonna gonna be great. Ant Man is himself mm-hmm. and he's great, so yeah. that's why he's great. But, I see what you're saying. That's yeah, uh, shout out to uh, Jason Tatum. No, it's been a long road, but you got to get more than one. That's true. That's the way I feel. That's true. You got to get true. more than one. My favorite player right now is Jaw. If Jaw win a championship, I tell you the same thing. If you want to be great, gotta get more than one. That's I how I feel. You think next season he coming back with a vengeance? Jaw. Yeah. 
Trev, I think he gonna get suspended. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. He gonna either get suspended or hurt, man. That's what I'm it. thinking. I can see it. He gonna either get suspended or hurt next season. I see a lot of people sharing posts saying uh, people acting like they forget that Jaw was supposed to be the face of the league. He was supposed he to. Come, yeah, he was. That man took that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He either going to get hurt us or suspended. So, did you see Team USA for uh, the uh, NBA? No. Uh, the, you know, the, the uh, guys. Basketball, Team USA basketball? No. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Ant-Man on there, and I heard somebody say uh, that uh, they need to put John on the bench to make sure that uh, Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ant-Man. <laughs> Dang. Who's your Shout out to that damn, damn no man, but I, 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 I don't trust John. Decision making in his body, yeah. that combination. Yeah, he's by far my my my, my favorite player, but Ant Man second. But I I I don't trust him yet, dog. Gotcha. Yeah, he from Carolina too. Shout out to something. Shout out to Joe. Yes, sir. I got his jersey to the house. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, sir. Shout out to Joe. We had go to the game. I'm gonna post that in here. Okay. We might have one or two people make it this far in the video anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. This is a long one, by the way. I know. That's what she said. This meat long girl call it Coney. God damn. Shout you out remember to that? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, man. I think that's All pretty right. much that's it. That's it.